Welcome to another video from Max Speed Motorsports Garage. Today, what I'm going to perform is a uh, mirror retrofit. So the side view mirrors on the left and the right hand side. I will replace these with the GT4 version, which I find super, super nice. Really changes the whole car. Um, <clears throat> I decided to do so because of the price. Um, I was really surprised how inexpensive it is to purchase uh, the boat mirrors, uh, the GT4 version, uh, and retrofit them on a 981. And as you can see now, I do have the uh, mirrors. These are the electrical folding ones that I installed at some point because uh, when they when I first got the car, it came with the uh, regular mirrors but I retrofitted the uh, motorized version. So basically, um, I always thought the GT4 version was super expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell these to make up for the GT4 ones. But yeah, just to show you guys how it looks, all right? And then we'll see the before and after. All right. I just like the GT4 version because of the aerodynamic and you know, that, that opening year. And let me show you guys, I did purchase them and I had to assemble them. That's the difficult part. But here we go. We have one mirror. I'll show you guys. You see the opening here? I love the opening. So I'm pretty sure these will make a hell of a difference. But uh, for those of you interested, uh, if you do buy the kit, um, comes with no instructions as far as I'm concerned. I did ask my Porsche dealer, the local one, to provide me with instructions on mounting the mirrors. However, uh, they couldn't help me. So, you know, after analyzing the parts and they give you a bunch of parts, screws and stuff like that, I ended up assembling them. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. So that way you don't have to scratch your head the way I did. So let's get to it. All right guys, so when you receive your kit, from your Porsche dealer. There will be a bunch of parts. Of course, these are double. And uh, first thing you wanna do is paint your, your uh, mirror covers. And basically, you're gonna choose the uh, color of your choice. Of course, you know, normally these will be painted the same color as the body color, but you can, you know, if you want them all black or whatever. So you got the back cover the front cover and the bottom cover all right and then you got your gasket mirror brackets mirror motor a bunch of screws and your wiring harness and uh, we'll talk about the harness as well but for now the first thing again is to get everything painted so once you got everything painted uh, the first thing you want to do is assemble these mirrors and again after playing around with them I figured out how to assemble them so um, let's move some of the parts here um, so you guys can see a little better parts I don't need right now okay so the first thing you want to do is grab your hardware uh, supply and um, there'll be a bunch of screws again no instructions and trying to figure out what's what again I did all the work so that's gonna work for us all right, so um, here's the first thing you wanna do. The first thing you wanna do is grab the bottom bracket here, all right, the plastic bottom part, and the metal part. Of course, identify the part numbers and what goes left, what goes right. Um, pretty easily, easy to determine. I mean, they, they only go one way, you can't go wrong. So the first thing you wanna do is assemble this metal bracket to the bottom uh, plastic cover. So as you can see here, there's an opening and this will go, the bar will go right in the opening and it's gonna end up in here, in this enclosure here, okay? So we're gonna push this in, there you go. So you're gonna hear a snap, which means uh, it went in properly. So as you can see, we have the first part uh, assembled. All right, uh, so what you wanna do next is grab the mirror cover, the big one, which is the back part. And what we're gonna do is we are going to assemble 
this part with this guy. So um, carefully, there's a couple of clips. I don't know if you can see properly, uh, but it's pretty clipped up everywhere. So you want to insert it and you don't want to scratch your parts and carefully make sure everything snaps together. All right. So in my case, I'm going to start doing it. All right. There you go. Now, in addition of this being clipped, um, there, it's also gonna be screwed on at some point, so it'll be secure. So once we've done that, you wanna make sure it's uh, installed properly, like I did here. And it's nice and solid, so you're pretty good on this side. Next, we're gonna assemble this arm. This is the arm that mounts to the body, but the what needs to be done is to um, actually insert the wiring harness at this point. Uh, you have to, otherwise if you don't do that, you have to disassemble everything. So we're gonna grab. When I did mount the mirrors on my doors, I realized I routed the cable wrong on the arm. So on the next clip, I will show you how to route it properly, all right? Don't make the same mistake I did. All right, guys. So uh, this is extremely important. And I'm going to have to do the work twice. <laughs> That's why I make videos and save you guys the time. <laughs> um, all right. So the wiring harness, as you can see here, there's a hole right over here. Mm -hmm. the harness must route through that hole if you don't do that it's going to be uh, problematic to install the mirror as it, this bracket does not need this wire in front you're going you're gonna to chop it if you install it this way so remember guys remember when you're doing the assembling of the wiring harness it must go through here all right, so I'm gonna disassemble. It won't be on the video, of course, but uh, I'll get that done, all right? All right, so we wanna have enough wiring that comes out of there. So you're gonna have to pretty much measure. Uh, I'll show you guys. All right, so um, what you wanna do here is uh, the wiring is gonna go through here, all right? Come out here and pretty much go behind this guy. Uh, I hope you can see well, but there's an opening right over here. You want it to go in there. As you can see, I've uh, passed the wiring and inserted in that um, bracket there, okay? So at this point, you wanna insert this guy on the top opening, all right? All right, this is the way it goes, okay? But before uh, tightening everything at the bottom, as I mentioned before, you wanna make sure you have enough wiring coming out of here. Remember, this goes on your glass mirror, so you need to have enough, like a couple of inches. And then we need this guy as well for the uh, uh, motor mirror. So it looks good to me at this point. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm good here. Well, all right, so once I push this in and the wiring is, you know, coming out nicely, as you can see here, it has to end up here. The bracket has to end up over here. All right, so at this point, we have five screws to secure the base. The top two 
are sheet metal screws. Well, not metal, but they're plastic. These plastic screws here, these ones here. The two small ones that will pretty much soft tap. And the other three, which is one over here, one over here, and one over here. Those are the metal ones, which is one, two, three of the small ones. Those go at the bottom here. So let me secure it. the base to the actual mirror uh, cover uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, install this piece must go before so the the frame support for the motor must go in before and um, basically this one goes in let's see here we're gonna insert the wiring going to insert the wiring of the eating mirror through the opening here just those ones not the other three so this way all right through this guy and next what we want to do is align this bracket all right so as you can see it aligns this way all right So it's gonna align this way. I hope you guys see it. You can't go wrong, it's gotta match the holes. All right, so I'm gonna prepare my screws right now. So, um, there you go. So you're gonna grab two of these. As you can see, these ones, the head is thicker. All right, you're gonna grab two of these. All right, and you want to screw on the bracket, which for now. So now that we were almost done assembling, what's left to put right now will be the connector, the motor, and that cover, which leaves us with four screws. At this point, you're supposed to have only four screws. Um, for the shrink wrap, I'm not gonna use it, to be honest, it's very little, like one inch of wiring. Um, I don't think it's needed. I'd rather tape it or something, but uh, what we're gonna do now is place our connector so uh, as I mentioned before, pin number one is the violet and gray, pin number two is the gray, and pin number three is the violet. My mistake, pin number one is the gray, pin number two, violet and gray, and pin number three, the violet. You can see now the connector is assembled, so this will be ready to be uh, plugged to the uh, motor there. So uh, next thing we need to do is uh, you wanna, secure this wire right over here there's like a little opening that you put it there and basically all right so let's bring this in a bit we have some excess but that's fine that's what i wanted all right 
Well, I can deal with this later because I need to put the uh, cover. So, um, next step is basically putting this cover. So you want to make sure the uh, wiring clears on this side. Clears on this side as well, so you have both your harnesses out. And basically now what you want to do is clip in this part of the mirror. Um, it's clipped in and once you clip it in, there's a clip here that needs to be on top. And basically we'll have three screws to secure the cover. So you want to hear some clips clipping, clack, clack, clack. So this is done. So it's all clipped, as you can see here. So now I've got one, two, and three. All right. So um, one of them will be the, the soft tapping screw. And this goes at the bottom corner here, right over here. All right. So again, it's hard to show on the camera, but I'll install it. Then you have the two remainder screws, which are these ones. All right, one goes on, on the top here and one at the bottom. So this is, uh, for now, completely assembled, all right? I don't see no gaps, everything is good, all right? So next thing is we're gonna put in this motor and basically it only goes one way, you can't go wrong. And what you wanna make sure is that this guy goes behind here and like I said, there's like a little opening where you clip it. So you wanna make sure this is like this all right, and pretty much install this guy and you see that there's like a, this guide, uh, it can only go one way, you can't go wrong. So you wanna connect your motor, connect it before installing it, then put it in position and put the long screw in the middle. There's only one screw left, all right? So I'm gonna do that now.
right, so now that it's nice and tight, this is installed. We have the harness for the, uh, the mirror eating. So basically, all we have left is to connect these two connectors on the mirror. It doesn't matter which color you put, which pin, that doesn't matter. And pretty much snap in the mirror. And this is assembled and ready to be installed. All right, boys, so there you have it. This is installed. The mirror is uh, completely assembled. All right, so let's not forget, we do have the gasket for here. We're gonna install it, but the mirror is assembled and this is the way you assemble a GT4 mirror. Now let's move on to the installation. so you don't want to scratch your finishes on the panel and uh, you also need a uh, T30 T30 Torx so a six point Torx screw all right so uh, there's only uh, one two three four screws to remove and I'll show you guys how it's done so the first one is right over here you want to use this try tool pop the cover Remove the Torx screw. There you go, one. Next one is right behind the door handle. Again, using the pry tool, just pry the plastic cover. Remove this cover. And there's a T30 screw right behind here. There you go. There's two more screws to remove and it's off behind this cover. Everything is clipped on. might be different. I have a blind spot system so mine is held by a wire but in your case you won't have that. So basically I'm just going to remove mine. There you go. All right so the beauty of these door panels is that Porsche did not use a clip system like to clip. Uh, basically to remove this door and uh, this uh, panel you have to raise the panel and come out. All right, so it's hooked in. So let's do it. You see how easy it is? You grab it on both sides and... There you go. So that's all that needs to be done and it comes off. Now behind the door panel, you do have the cable, the cable for the uh, door handle here that needs to be unclipped. And uh, in my case, only one connector, however, you might have more connectors depending on your vehicle. All right, so let me disconnect that and the door panel comes off. All right, boys, so as far as two connectors, door panels, you're gonna have one connector with a blue, with a blue connector here. Basically, it's on the door driver, on the door module. You just gotta disconnect that. And as far as the plastic clip, as you can see here, there's two tabs. You have to press on them, pull this back, and it's gonna unhook, and then you, you pretty much disconnect it from the interior door handle, and that's the way the door panel comes off. 
it's not that difficult, but that's all there is to it. This is a T25 screws for the speaker. All right, so now that we removed the speaker, what you wanna do is carefully, uh, with a light possibly, uh, just or you can fill it with your hand, what you want to do is feel the rotting of the, the mirror wiring. You want to rot it exactly the same way so it doesn't interfere with your window regulator and window. So that's it. And basically we're going to remove this cap here, this black cap. And this gives us access to the mirror screw, which appears to be, I'm not sure, probably a T35, T40. I'm going to verify that and let you guys know. All right, so the first thing is pretty much dislodge the wiring harness from the panel here and again remember to follow the routing so you want to put it the same way all right and there you go all right so let me go get the bit for this guy possibly hold the mirror at the same time you don't want it to fall so I'm gonna go grab a magnet I don't want to drop the screw It's time to remove the mirror. There you go. So the mirror is off. Again, remember uh, the routing of the wiring. And uh, this is how you remove the uh, mirrors. And the installation is pretty much the reversal of what you've done here, what I showed you on the video. It's very, very simple. So, uh, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and install my GT4 mirrors and uh, we'll see the final results soon. All right, be back in a few minutes. to mention uh, it did come with six of these plastic pieces now this is made up of three pieces the middle part the outside part and the inside part uh, I didn't know I was a little confused until I got to the uh, part of installing them on the doors but they give you like six gaskets if you'd like and a plastic trim so I call them all gaskets let's say there's six of them three per side and there's only one way to assemble it and this is the way it goes so basically this will go to the base of the mirror and pretty much uh, act as a uh, gasket and trim as well on the door so this is um, you'll get six pieces three on each side and this is the way you assemble it it pretty much they sandwich between each other there's only one way of putting them in all right guys so now that my mirror is installed on the passenger side uh, i left the driver's one on so you guys can see a uh, comparison so yeah, man, guys, if you want to let me know if what you think, if you think it was worth the upgrade, if it really changes the car or it's not worth the upgrade, but in my opinion, 
wow i'm amazed by the results it really 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 gives it a sportier look the aerodynamic with the uh, slot in the middle i think it's much better uh, looks better as well so uh all right let's take a look Now let's move on to the other side. This was the old mirror, the old setup, as you can see. I'm not really referring to the color, uh, more the actual, um, the way the mirror is made and everything. All right. I really think it looks really sharp, man. The opening, that's what I was after, really. I was after this. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish installing the other side and wrap up this video. Uh, once again, uh, please leave comments, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so here's the final result with the GT4 mirror upgrades on a 981. I hope you guys like it. I really, really like it. I'm actually uh, very excited. Uh, it kind of uh, adds that I'm not sure what it adds to the car, man, but man, this do I love it. So let's do a little uh, little tour. As you can see here. And guys, I'd like to mention, um, of course, you know, we sell parts on our website at www.maxspeedmotorsports.com. So maxspeed-motorsports.com. My name is Nello. If uh, anyone is interested, we can actually sell you the complete setup painted and assembled as well. So once again, painted and assembled, you're looking at $1,200 uh, plus shipping to your door. So let's say roughly $1,250. However, they're ready to be installed and painted. Uh, we have uh, professional painters that could uh, really give you a good color match. And uh, the quality is exceptional as far as the painting goes. I mean, you can't get better than this. We deal with professionals only. So, uh, yes, um, any interest, www.maxspeed-motorsports.com. You can also reach me on WhatsApp at 305-308-2009. If you do decide to order a set, you need to allow approximately two weeks for delivery. Uh, two to three weeks by the time we, these are special orders, by the time we get them and get them painted. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much.